Hey everyone, welcome back into our early enrollee spotlight series where we break down the Crimson Tide commits or sets enrollments at the University of Alabama in January. Today we are going to take a look at the Crimson Tide's four-star tight end commit who is now who has now signed a national letter of intent to play for the University of Alabama. We are talking about Elijah Brown out of Hoover Heights, Ohio, by the way, Wayne High School. He currently stands at six foot six, weighs two hundred and forty-one pounds. Whenever I take a look at his height and his weight, it always is makes me think of those big body tight ends that we see on Sunday those guys like Travis Kelsey in the NFL for the Kansas City Chiefs of course Brown has a lot of work to do before he's able to play at that level but he definitely has the potential to be one of those prospects for the Crimson Tide possibly an NFL prospect in the future so we're going to take a look at his senior film and look at what he did for Hoover Heights Ohio Wayne High School in Hoover Heights Ohio of course we have John Ivory in the producer studio we will take a look at Brown's senior film right now. His first play is lined up as an inline tight end. It is a bit difficult <laughs> to see this play, but he did make a block, engage the block, keep his feet moving, and was able to pick up a pancake block. We see him line up as a slot wide receiver on this next play. Runs a bit of an out route, not the best route, but he is a 6'6", 241 pound tight end, and he was able to pull in that pass in contest in a contested area i really like this play because it sees his quarterback is in trouble so it's now presents a big target for his quarterback who is in trouble and i think as a tight end a lot of times you are the safety valve for your quarterback and we see elijah brown was able to show that he could be that really saw that his quarterback was in trouble presenting a big target and his quarterback was able to deliver the football to him once again we see elijah brown showing what he can do with that big frame lining up at the slot by receiver on this particular play runs another corner out was able to pull in that pass basically he had to adjust a lot of these passes look as if they were a bit behind them but we we're going also going to see that elijah brown is a big time blocker at that tight end position he's going to continue to show that he continues to block down the field as an inline tight end continue to show that he's not only a willing blocker i think he's an effective blocker knows how to use that frame knows how to block down the field once again catching the football and traffic presenting just a big target in the middle of the field how could you miss a cow six foot six to 240 pounds and when you take a look at his athletic background and his sports background he played a lot of basketball for Wayne High School in the past and I think that translates over to the football field in terms of him boxing out defenders to make catches but I think his ability to be a blocker as we could see see him continue to block down the field for his running back on that last play is possibly going to help him get on the field early because he's a hybrid tight end he's the perfect example of an overall tight end of course He's not the best at running the running after the catch because he's not the fastest prospect. He doesn't have great top end speed, but he has okay speed for a guy with his um, size and frame at the moment. Lining up at the slot wide receiver on his next play, catching the football in traffic, was able to pull in a pass and basically ignore the guy who was trying to tackle him, make sure that he pulled in that particular catch. Showing that he can present another huge target for his quarterback in the red zone as well but like i said i think he's an overall good good tight end i think he could be developed into a serious weapon for the crimson tide just looking at his size just looking at his potential his athleticism his willingness and his ability to be an effective blocker and aggressive blocker blocks down the field really seems to enjoy helping his teammates explode into the open field behind his blocking ability as always, thank you guys so much for joining me today. We will continue to spotlight some of the guys who will enroll at the University of Alabama in January. Hopefully, we'll see these guys play in some way or play a little bit during the A day and continue to hear about them during spring practice. As always, I am Justin Smith, the scouting and recruiting analyst for Touchdown Alabama.